All right, let's use a matrix to solve these. The idea is the same. We need some zeros and some ones, and they need to be in the right place. So let's change this to a matrix first. All right, so we got this. We got a one, two, negative one, and five. Got a negative three, negative two, negative three, and 11. Four, four, five, and negative 18. I can eliminate this negative three and make it a zero right now. And I can make this four a zero right now as well. Okay. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And then you're going to be really mad because you probably won't understand. And then I'll go back to the other way. Okay. But I'm going to show you anyways. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I have a one in the, in the x place as the coefficient of x in that top equation which makes it really easy to eliminate those other x coefficients. And here's how. So for row two, if I take three and I multiply it by row one, that's gonna change row one. But since I'm only working on row two, if I add this to row two, it's going to give me a zero at that spot. Right there is, what the So heck? your new row one will be three. Six. Now I'm not doing anything to row one though, because I have a one right where I want it. I thought you were in the X's. <laughs> yeah. I can do that. So my my top row again, I haven't changed any of those numbers. Negative uh, one, two, negative one, five. Should give myself more space. But here's the thing: is so in that red, I say I got three times row one. So I take. Uh, I got one times three plus row two, so plus that negative three, bam, there's that zero. Eliminated, right? But I'm gonna do the same thing with all of these others coefficients or numbers there. So two times three is six plus negative two is four. Negative one times three is negative three plus negative three is negative six. And, uh, sorry, say three times three. minus, uh, plus negative oh, three. Oh, three yeah. plus three. So five times three is 15, plus the 11 is 26. So we have those two rows. Now, the reason I'm keeping the top row the same is because I have a one in the X column. Which is what we want, right? If we look back at reduced row echelon form or row echelon form or not that you remember or care. But here's the thing is if I take negative four and multiply that by row one, see how this, this one is going to turn into a negative four? Which when I add to row three, it's going to eliminate this four right here. Does that make sense? So one times negative four plus that four is zero. Two times negative four is negative eight plus this four is negative four. Oh, that, that actually worked out very well. Times negative one times negative four is a positive four plus this five is nine. Five times negative four, and I'm looking at that in purple, Negative 20 plus negative 18 is negative 38. On those bottom two rows, once I get a one in the, uh, the Y or the Z column, then I can start working on row one again. So we need ones and zeros in, in various places. So what am I gonna do? Here we go. So let's continue to work on these. So what are we going to do? I'm going to take, well, this is great. I'm going to take row two and add it to row three, which is going to give me a new row three. All right. So let's, yes, there's that. Uh, if I take row two plus row three, the zero, well, zero plus zero, that's pretty easy, is zero. Four plus negative four is zero. Negative six plus nine is three. And 26 plus negative 38 is negative 12. 
Well, that's pretty easy to solve that third that third row now, 4z specifically. All I've got to do is take row 3 and divide it by 3. And that gives me a new row 3, which would be 0, 0, 1, and negative 4. So this, this bottom row right now tells me that z equals negative 4. So again, with elimination here, so I'm going to eliminate the z in the second row, okay? So what I'm going to do, a different color, is uh, I'm going to take 6 times row 3. Again, it's nice because I got that 1 right there. And when I add it to row 2, I should get a 0 right here. So the 6 and the negative 6 should cancel out. And what does that do? So 6 times this 0 plus 0 is still well, 0. 6 times 0, 0 plus 4 is 4. This is my middle row, by the way. 6 times 1 is 6, plus negative 6 is 0. That's what we wanted. And 6 times negative 4 is negative 24, plus 26 is 2. Yeah, so on this we'd say, uh, well, I'm going to take row 2 and divide it by 4, which is going to give me a new row 2. I am going to operate on row 1. Not to confuse you, but just because I can, all right? Uh, right now, I want to eliminate, well, I can eliminate the y's. So I can eliminate this negative 1 right now, right? All I've got to do is take row 3, which has a coefficient of z, which is 1, and add it to row 1. See, because then I have 0 plus this 1, which is 1. 0 plus 2 is 2. 1 plus negative 1, bam, we got that 0. And negative 4 plus 5 is 1. Oh, by the way, I haven't figured that out, obviously. For the y, yes. Yeah. So yes, this tells us right now that y is one half. Um, well, I do need to get rid of this 2 right here. That's pretty easy, right? If I take negative 2 times row 2 and add it to row 1, then it will eliminate that 2. Now the nice thing about the zeros in the, each column is that when I add those columns to other columns, it's not affecting the values where the zeros are, okay? So for example, right, zero times negative two is zero plus one is still one. One times negative two plus this two is, that's the zero that we wanted. Zero times negative two plus zero is zero. And this is great. Negative two times one half is negative one plus one is zero. And now we have a fully reduced row echelon form matrix. Yeah, so we, we may look at this zero right here. And we don't really care if there's a zero there. Uh, we're just not really specifically looking to make that zero. This one just happened to be zero. The solution for this, since the one is in the x column, that'd be 1x. So the 1x is 0, or in other words, x is 0. That's it. Uh, and we do have our three solutions. x is 0, y is 1 half, and z is negative 4. As an ordered triple, we have something like this. I don't really care how you write that out. There we go. I think that looks pretty. Maybe it's the colors, I don't know.